Hey there, welcome back to Koala Cafe Show. I'm Cafe Show. In this video, I'm doing a swap diet for a day kind of video with Anna Thompson, AP Thompson, her YouTube channel is. I've been wanting to do a video like this for so long and I'm finally getting to do it and I'm just, yeah, excited. So we swapped our shopping lists and our like meal plans two days ago, I think. So I already went and got my groceries. I know what I'm eating today. Yeah, so it's time for breakfast now. I'm gonna go and eat. I'm actually really hungry, and that's a lot earlier than I usually eat now, um, just because I didn't do as much studying this morning. With that said, let's go, let's eat. Hi everyone, my name's Anna, and I run the YouTube channel AP Thompson, or as my friends call it, APT. I have been vegetarian for as long as I can remember, and vegan for about, I think, two years now. Um, I've also been trying to live a relatively low waste lifestyle since I started university but I'm definitely still in the transition to that lifestyle. So today Cafe Show will be eating what I would typically eat in a day at university. So for breakfast I've asked her to have a yoghurt bowl and a cup of tea. I am very much a tea girl so I will drink a lot of cups in a day. Um, it's very British of me, I know, I'm a walking stereotype. Um, and I have a yoghurt bowl for breakfast basically every day. And I would normally have that at about 8.30 in the morning. And then for morning snack, I'd normally have green tea and an orange. And I either have that before breakfast or at about 11, depending on what I'm feeling that day. And then for lunch, um, I've asked her to make my zero waste carrot soup. Um, and she can just have that with whatever bread she would like. Um, and then for dinner, it is my vegan chilli. As you can see, I try to make as many recipes as I can from scratch and with vegetables that I can get from the market. And I'm very much into like whole, um, whole sources of protein. And then for pudding, after dinner, I've asked her to have a chocolate bar because I have a mild addiction to vegan chocolate. But yeah, that's the day. I hope you enjoy it, Cafe Show. So breakfast is granola with yogurt and banana. So I made my granola myself and if you guys want a recipe for that, I can put it on my food Instagram page, Cafe Shay's Kitchen, just let me know below. So whenever I make yogurt bowls at home, I usually like to do a layer of banana at the bottom of the bowl first, then yogurt and then the toppings, just cause I feel like it spreads out the banana evenly. You get a nice bite banana with every spoonful. Anyways, this is my finished product. I had it with some tea. This is my whole breakfast. Got some tea with milk in it. I don't usually drink this tea to be honest, so I had to steal this from my flatmate. Oh. And then we got breakfast, yogurt, banana, apple, and granola. As you can see by my face, I was not a huge fan of this tea and I had to add some sugar to it. Usually I like herbal tea without anything added to it. Anyways, I ate my breakfast and was reading. I'm currently reading Obama's new book, A Promised Land. Comment down below what you guys are reading right now so I can add more to my ever expanding TBR list. I have also got a glass of water. Hello again. Um, so it's now 12 o'clock. I'm slightly peckish. I'm gonna go to the market and see if I can get some bread because I didn't get any bread for the soup today. I am back in college. I got a single bread roll. So for lunch, I had Anna's zero waste carrot soup. I got the carrots from the market and they were actually yellow, which is why it probably doesn't look as vibrant orange as carrot soup might. Um, and then I had this with the Sainsbury's plat roll that I got beforehand. While I was studying, I nommed on the rest of the apple from this morning. Okay, so I was a bit thirsty, so I got some green tea, because Anna said she uh, drinks tea throughout the day. There is this loose leaf green tea with some rose in it, and I've got my mug, obviously, for when this is done, you know, mingling with the water. Um, I'll pour it in. Finally, for dinner, I had some chili and the main components of this were sweet pepper, mushroom, and kidney beans. I actually made loads of this and I used up the rest of it throughout the week. For dessert then, I had a Nomo chocolate bar, fruit and nut. It didn't actually have any nuts in it, but it was really good. I think today was okay. 
the timings I think was the biggest thing for me today because I am used to like I try to intuitively eat and that means I usually only have two meals a day. I ate breakfast at like nine-ish and then lunch at like 12 when I wasn't really super hungry and then waited a bit for dinner but like by the time I got to dinner I was very hungry because I usually for me I eat breakfast at like 10 ish and then I eat my second meal at like 3 4 and then I've realized that once I eat a big meal at like 3 4 time like I won't get hungry for the rest of the evening usually sometimes I get a little bit peckish and in which case I'll have toast so like now my stomach's like what have you done <laughs> It is dark outside and you just ate your biggest meal. I feel like I'd probably eat similar meals. Like I, I have yogurt and granola. Yeah, I've never had a carrot soup before. It was okay. I don't know if I'd make it again, to be honest. I don't think that I'm a huge fan of it. Dinner, the chili, yeah, I quite like that. And to be honest, I make my own chilies quite a lot of the time as well. So that was good. Um, I usually just put different vegetables in it. Like that's the only difference. My stomach cannot handle a full portion at this time of night. So I probably will add some like broccoli to the rest of the chili for tomorrow. Overall, that's it. I'm done. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope you check out Anna's channel, AP Thompson. I will have it linked below and see if I can attach it up here as well. But yeah, I really hope you've enjoyed. Thank you so, so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe, and all of that jazz, and I'll see you next time. Bye.